Come with me to a land far away. Hello, my beautiful Virgos. So, I wanted to get you guys a message before January is over. I know I've been procrastinating a little bit. I've been super busy. I've been remodeling and dealing with all sorts of stuff. So yeah, I'm sorry that it wasn't sooner. But um, I wanted to get you a message. So if you don't know me, I channel through music. And the song I got for you this month, Virgo, is When I Need You by Celine Dion. The lyrics are, when I need you, I just close my eyes and I'm with you. And all that I so want to give you, it's only a heartbeat away. When I need love, I hold out my hands and I touch love. I never knew there was so much love keeping me warm night and day. Miles and miles of empty space in between us. A telephone can't take the place of your smile. But you know I won't be traveling forever. It's cold out, but hold out and do like I do when I need you. Just close my eyes and I'm with you and all that I want to give you, babe. It's only a heartbeat away. It's not easy when the road is your driver. Honey, that's a heavy load that we bear. But you know I won't be traveling a lifetime. It's cold out, but hold out and do like I do. Oh, when I need you, I hold out my hands and I touch love. I never knew there was so much love keeping me warm at night and day. When I need you, just close my eyes and I'm with you. And all that I so want to give you, it's only a heartbeat away. Okay, Virgo. So let's get into what this message is about. If you're new here, it's so great to have you here. Please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family because I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube family. Also, you can like my Facebook page um, and I do post things often for anyone who wants to see them, you know, affirmations, videos, just anything I think that you guys would like. Um, also, I have an Instagram. I'm not really on it all that much. I'm new to it because you guys told me I should get it. And then I also have a TikTok. I've only done one TikTok so far, but it turned out really well. Okay, so that being said, welcome if you are new. Please subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being my subscriber and being a part of my YouTube family. I love you guys. Okay, so let's get into what this means when I need you. Okay. Guys, don't mind my nails because I, like I said, I've been remodeling, moving things around, and I just haven't had time to do them. So Virgo, we're gonna start with my new deck, Heart and Soul Love Oracle by Celestial Forecast by Carrie. I really like this deck. Please charge this deck for Virgo. Please charge this deck for Virgo. Please charge this deck for Virgo. All right. Please charge this deck for the beautiful souls of my Virgos. I hope you guys are having an amazing month so far. Brand new year. Hopefully it's going good for you. Um, I don't know if you checked out the blessing video, what blessings are coming to you, Virgo, but it's in my other videos. I'll link it down below if you want to watch it. Okay. All right. Spirit, please tell us what this When I Need You song what does this mean for Virgo? Please clarify that for us. All right, you got a couple. And these do not have a book, so I can't read to you out of the book. I just want you to know that. Your first card is free. 
You've had my heart right from the start. My heart comes with no conditions, no boundaries, no color lines, no restriction. It belongs to you, all of it. Together our hearts become one. Together our hearts are free to love, to live, to just be. And then your second card that came out was timing. Timing. Life is so simple for some people. They meet someone, they fall in love, get married, and live happily ever after. With us, it wasn't so simple. We met, we became friends, and more than friends. But life had other plans, other commitments, other obligations. It wasn't our time. Perhaps in our next lifetime it will be. Oh, I'm sorry, Virgo. So I feel like this is kind of leaning towards a twin flame reading. It could also be just a soul connection. I feel like, Virgo, you love somebody, but you're not with them. Perhaps they are married. I don't know. You know. They could be in a committed relationship, committed elsewhere. And you feel like you're coming to terms with that. You're like, I know that you are mine. All I have to do is close my eyes. When I need you, I close my eyes. I reach out. I touch you. You're there. You're with me all the time because time is just an illusion, right? So, you know, you talk to this person telepathically and you know that maybe the timing wasn't right in this lifetime. Maybe it will be eventually, but you're good either way. I feel like you're like, well, if I end up with this person, cool, you know, awesome. But if I don't, I'm good either way. I'm free. I'm happy. You know, I'm happy to be single. I'm happy to be in a relationship with, you know, with my twin flame or my soulmate. I'm happy either way. You know, I'm happy to live in a mansion or I'm happy to live where I am. I'm happy either way. I feel like you're coming into um, a more of I'm good either way kind of scenario. And they say that when you come into that scenario, Virgo, that when you're good either way, it doesn't matter. You're like, spirit, I'm good either way. Do what's going to happen. It's going to happen because it's divinely guided. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And I'm cool with it. I'm good either way. I'm good. I released my ego. I'm good either way, you know. And you're like, whatever happens, happens. So usually that's when you have an awakening. That's a part of your awakening, Virgo. Also, that is kind of when spirit's like, well, she's good either way or he's good either way. So let's bless them because they're good either way. So let's make it better. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So there's that. So Virgo, let's go ahead and go into the romance angels. We all know, if you know me, I love this deck. It's one of my favorite besides my own. All right, so please charge this deck to the beautiful souls of Virgos. Please charge this deck for the beautiful souls of Virgos. Please charge this deck for the beautiful souls of Virgos. Get a few more messages about this song with this deck. Then we'll clarify with my deck. That's such a beautiful song, you guys. You should really listen to it. You probably would love it. All right. I also feel like this is an ex or someone that you had feelings for in your, you know, in your past, but things never happened for you. I don't feel like this is a new person. I feel like this is a person who maybe you knew in your childhood or your teen years, or your 20s, or your 30s. I mean, I don't know how old you are, but this is a person who you have a strong connection with. You might be dreaming about this person, Virgo. You're definitely feeling like you're talking to this person telepathically, and you're like, you know what? If we don't come together, it's cool. We're good either way, you know? Okay, tell us more, spirit. Tell us more. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, Virgo. Have faith. 
in this situation, Virgo. Tell us more. Please tell us more. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And I feel like there's at least one more. Anything else, Romance Angels? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, Virgo. So yeah, again, that's just kind of clarifying the same thing I just said. Have trust in spirit. Have trust in yourself. Love yourself. Be like, I love myself. I don't care if I end up with you because I love me. If you don't love me, that's fine. If you don't want to be with me, that's fine because I love me. I love me. I love me. I love me. So I feel like, you know, you're working on self-love. And maybe it's hard, right? There's those little things that we just don't love about ourselves, but it'll be okay. Let your friends help you, Virgo. You know, like if you're single, go out with your friends, have a good time, forget about this. Just be like, I'm good either way. I don't care either way, you know? And then you might have something fall into your lap that was worth waiting for. That's what I'm feeling for you, Virgo. I'm really sorry if you guys can hear my kids. They are supposed to be watching a movie, but we all know how kids are. I am a mom of five, so quiet is not something that comes easily in my house. Please charge this deck for the beautiful souls of Virgo. Please charge this deck for the beautiful souls of Virgo. Please charge this deck for the beautiful souls of Virgo. Okay, and we're using my deck. I totally forgot to say that. Learning Tarot by Witchy Sabrina. That's the deck I created. Um, people seem to love it that have purchased it. And if you guys are watching, thank you so much for purchasing my deck, and I'm glad you love it. Also, if you guys want to win one of these decks, when I get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to give away two decks and two readings. Because I love you guys. All right? So watch for that video. Subscribe. And when I hit 500 subscribers, I will post a video. And all you have to do is comment that you want to win on that video. Just like my previous ones. You can totally go and look at my previous videos. And you can see all that. And then I write down whose name commented. And, you know... Um, one of my sons will pick your name out of a bucket or a hat or something like that, and you will win. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now I'm getting distracted. But yeah, so when I get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. So watch for that. All right. Please clarify for us, spirit, free. Clarify for us, free. Clarify for Virgo, free. Turn the deck. Did it. Now can we have a card? Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. You have hard work pays off. Make manifesting ideas and inheritance, inheritance or payout. So when you become free, when you're like, I'm good either way, that's when the universe is going to bring this back together for you because you're good either way. I'm free. I'm not held to the fact of I need to have this. This has to happen. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. I'm not putting it on a pedestal. I need to reunite with my twin flame. I need to be in a happy relationship. I'm more like, Psh, I'm good either way. So it's equal vibration to you. If you put it on a pedestal, Virgo, if you're like, oh my gosh, it's so important. I need to do this. I need to be connected to this person. I need to, need to, need to, need to, need to then you're putting it at a higher vibration than you are and you're keeping yourself at a lower vibration. Then it's way too high for you 
to reach it. You know what I mean? You're putting it up way high where you need a ladder to get it by putting it up on that high pedestal. Instead, so be like, eh, I don't care. I'm good either way. I know it's hard to come to that, right? But then your hard work will pay off and you may just get this beautiful reunion you have been wanting, Virgo. Please clarify for us timing, spirit. Clarify for us timing. Got two. See, four of pentacles. Clinging to money, people, issues, and jobs, financial gain, and greed. I don't feel greed here, Virgo, but I do feel clinging. Right now, maybe some of you are like, Psh, I'm good either way. But maybe some of you are still clinging to it. I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it. I'm clinging to the idea of I have to be with this person because I am nothing without this person. And you're telling the universe that you, you don't want to be with this person because... And when you're doing that, you're also putting a wall. Remember, your twin flame can feel your energy. So if you put up a wall like... I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you with your energy... They're like, oh my God, this person's needy and their energy will run from your energy, okay? But if you're like, I don't care, come, go, whatever. If you choose a different path and you choose, I don't care, I'm walking away. You don't have to walk away, but you know, I'm good either way. I'm going out these doors, all right? You can follow or you can stay, but I'm leaving, you know, kind of thing. Like, I'm good either way. If you do that, this will happen. Tell us about trust. Clarify trust, please, spirit. Clarify trust for us. Okay, so you have loneliness, withdrawn, and antisocial, and paranoid. The hermit in reverse. So you have to be more trusting of the universe like I know you're doing what's meant to be like if it's meant to be it'll be that is the song that's coming up for you right now Virgo we'll look at those lyrics in just a moment and if you're wondering why does she read the lyrics to me well because YouTube doesn't allow you to play music on YouTube and so I can't do that and not everybody knows these songs not everyone wants to listen to these songs so I read you the lyrics you can totally skip it if you don't want to hear it all right but Virgo, it looks like right now you're lonely, you're withdrawn, you're antisocial, you're clinging to this person, the thought that I need to be with this person. But until you come to the mindset and put that energy on the same energy as you, nothing's going to happen because you're going to keep pushing this person away with your energy. You're putting them on a higher energy level and a higher vibration than you are. And we can't touch things that are on a higher vibration than we are. So we have to raise our vibration, right? I'm good either way. I don't care. Stay, go, come, whatever. I'm leaving. I'm going. All right. So let's, um, let's finish clarifying this first, and then we'll look at those lyrics. All right. So we have, let your friends help you. Clarify for us, let your friends help you, spirit. Six of Cups, Reminiscing, Reunion, Innocence, and Page of Wands, Childlike Fun, Someone Rushing In, New Ideas. So, I feel like there is going to be some sort of reunion between you and this person. Someone is going to come rushing in. Maybe it's going to be at a get-together with you and your friends and this person's going to be there or something like that. I'm not really sure. Or maybe you're just going to be like, you know what, I don't care. I'm going to go hang out with my friends. I'm going to focus on being me and being fun with my friends. And then someone's going to come rushing in and there will be a reunion. All right. Worth waiting for. Please clarify worth waiting for for Virgo. Virgo, you have Ten of Pentacles in reverse. If this person's married, and we kind of picked up that they are because you have marriage here, you have marriage there. This girl even looks like a bride to me. 
Um, it may be after this um, committed relationship collapses, after this divorce, or maybe you're divorced, or maybe it'll be after you get a divorce or you collapse this empire. Like maybe you're married and you're crushing on somebody else and you're like, I want this person, I want this person, I want this person. Well, honey, you can't buy a new car if you already have one in the garage, right? Or maybe this person is not going to come to you until this relationship ends. Tell us more about, all right. So we have hardships improving, relationship improving, and light at the end of the tunnel, five of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, I feel like perhaps you guys used to be together. Maybe this was a committed relationship and you're just, you know, maybe you were left out in the cold from this relationship and it looks like that's going to be improving. The relationship will be improving or maybe this will happen after somebody gets a divorce there's multiple messages here guys take whatever resonates for you leave whatever doesn't so for someone your twin flame is married and you're trying to push for this but it's not gonna happen until they break up maybe it won't be fully divorced but definitely separated okay or this relationships end or maybe you guys were in a long-term relationship and it ended and now you want to be brought out from the cold. Maybe they ghosted you. Maybe they put your relationship on ice. You do have a lot of ice here. Or, you know, maybe. Maybe this person is just has to hit rock bottom before they decide to thaw that ice. But it looks like it's coming. And it will be worth waiting for. Like this relationship, you've been waiting a long time, Virgo. I'm hearing a long, 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 long time. Okay? Or it feels like a really, 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 really long time. Right, Virgo? But it's going to be worth waiting for in the end. But definitely do you. Don't put your life on hold for this. Because then you're putting it at a higher vibration than you. Just be like, you know what? I'm going to do me. And I don't care about you, you know, not I don't care about you, but like, I don't care either way. I'm good either way. I'm happy with you. I'm happy without you. Whatever, you know, anything else you want to tell our beautiful Virgos? Anything else you want to tell our beautiful Virgos? Look at that, you guys, twin flame, the lovers, twin flame, sexual connection, great partnership. So yeah, once this comes back together, it's going to be an amazing relationship, great partnership. This person's your twin flame. You guys are going to have a lot of happiness together. And look at the bottom of the deck, six of wands, awards and fame, victory, having an advantage. There will be a victory, Virgo. There will be a victory. If this person is married or in a long-term relationship, I want you to know that they're unhappy. There are a lot of arguments and there will be a breakup. You have breakup here and you have divorce over there. So I feel like after this breakup, after these arguments, after this person has broken up with this person, that's when you will be brought back out of the cold. Okay, Virgo? Okay. So for those of you who are waiting for this karmic relationship to end, let's see what's going on in Karmic Town. I'm going to go into my deck, which is what's really going down in Karmic Town by me, which is Sabrina. Okay. Please charge this deck for the beautiful souls of Virgos. If your person isn't in a relationship, this could be what's gone on in their lifetime. Like since you parted, maybe they've been in a bad relationship and they're still healing from that. But let's see what's going down in Karmic Town, huh? 
So it could be a previous relationship. It could be the relationship your person's in now. Only you know what's going on with you. Remember that. Okay. Actually, let's do the song first, all right, guys? Okay, so the song is meant to be by B.B. Rexia. And it says, baby, lay on back and relax. Kick your pretty feet up on my dash. No need to go nowhere fast. Let's enjoy right here where we at. Who knows where this road is supposed to lead? We got nothing but time. As long as you're right here next to me, everything's going to be all right. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. Baby, just let it be. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. Baby, let just let it be. So won't you ride with me, ride with me, see where this thing goes. If it's meant to be, it'll be, baby, if it's meant to be. So that's the lyrics. I don't mean to be so uptight, but my heart's been hurt a couple of times. We talked about that, remember, Virgo? Somebody's been through a bad relationship or is going through one now. By a couple of guys that didn't treat me right. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Cause I'm tired of the fake love. Show me what you're made of. Boy, make me believe, but hold up, girl. Don't you know you're beautiful? And it's easy to see. This is a duet song, so that's why there's two pieces. All right, and then we have the lyrics. Maybe we do, maybe we don't, maybe we will, maybe we won't. But if it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. Baby, just let it be. All right, we have more chorus, and that's the end. So, yes. So when you're like, you know what? If it's meant to be, it'll be. If it's not, it won't. I don't care. I'm good either way. But I feel like this person has went through a bad relationship or is going through a bad relationship right now. So what went down in Karmic Town for this person or what is going on in Karmic Town right now? Please tell Virgos. All right. Someone wants you to know, Virgo. I did receive your message. I am pushing you away. I won't contact you anytime soon. Okay, so the person received your message, Virgo, but they're pushing you away. And if you didn't send a message, it could be telepathically or in a dream. I would leave, but I'm afraid the karmic would hurt the children or the pets. Or maybe they're afraid to hurt the karmic. I am leaving the karmic soon. Are you ready for me? Okay, Virgo, so I feel like this person has been pushing you away. They're like, I received your messages. Maybe they're telepathically. Maybe it's messages and dreams. Maybe you literally sent them a message, an email, a text, a phone call, something like that. You know, a DM, PM, whatever. <laughs> Whatever, all right? Maybe you sent them something and they were like, no, 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 no. And they've been pushing you away. But they want you to know that they want to leave the karmic, but they're afraid, that, maybe they're afraid the karmic will hurt the children or the pets. Maybe they're afraid to hurt the karmic if they don't have any pets or children. Maybe they're afraid that they'll lose custody and they won't see their children. They feel that something. But they want you to know, Virgo, I am leaving the karmic soon. And they want to know, are you really ready for me, Virgo? Because like the song says, they don't want just any old relationship that's going to hurt them. They want something spectacular. They want someone who's going to love them and nurture them and pull their weight. You know, they don't want to do all the house chores and go to work and pay all the bills and do everything because, you know, they want an equal partner. They want somebody that will treat them like an equal and good sex. They definitely feel there will be good sex. Sorry, had to put it out there. Let's see what else is going down in Karmic Town. I'm going to let you read it and then I'll read it. It's really tiny. <laughs> All right, it's fake. Everything you see, Virgo, the perfect couple we pretend to be, it's all for show. None of it's real, Virgo. None of it. 
They want you to know it's not real. Whatever you see on social media, maybe you see they're such a happy couple, you know, they're so in love. Maybe they told you that they are just so in love and they're happily married and, you know, or they're happily with this person or, you know, I'm so happy. It's a lie. It's a mask, okay? We have this one. The karmic and I break up and get back together again and again. I am so exhausted with it. All right, so they want you to know that. What else? The karmic is so selfish. They only think about and care about their self. See, so they want someone that's going to care about them because they've been with this person who just doesn't show them that they care. You know? And they'll show you they care too. They're not expecting you to give 50, you know, 100% while they give 50 because that's what they're getting. They're going to give you 50. You're going to get 50. Or let's instead of 50, 50, let's do you give 100, they give 100. So we are at 200%, right? Yeah. You know, some days, oh, honey, I've had such a hard day at work. My feet hurt so bad. Aw, babe, let me grab the oil and I will rub your feet for you. Or, you know... Vice versa, or whatever, you know? I just want to be loved. The karmic doesn't love me right. Exactly. The karmic doesn't love me right. You know, they want to be able to say, baby, you know, or you to wake up on their birthday and be like, hey, baby. Want to have some oral sex? It's your birthday. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. That's the kind of thing they're going to do to you, too. All right? It ain't going to be you give to me and I get and you get nothing. It ain't going to be like that, okay? It's going to be perfect. And if you are one of those that are like, oh, I hate my twin flame. Good. I'm glad you're suffering. Um, maybe this isn't your twin flame. Maybe this is a soulmate because we have twin flames. We have soulmates. I feel like it's a twin flame, but, you know, take it however it resonates with you. If you're like, I hate my twin flame, he's never going to be there. Just know that sometimes we have fake twin flames. I forget what they're called exactly, but um, they have all the same signs as a twin flame, but they're not really your twin flame. You just think that they are, and then really they're not. Maybe your twin flame is somebody else. Maybe you just think that this person is because your twin flame does not usually hurt you, Okay. But yeah, so you're going to be with somebody who has been hurt in the past, and so have you. But you guys are going to love each other, and you guys are going to know how not to treat each other. <laughs> and last one, the karmic and I hate each other. They want you to know that. It's all fake. We hate each other. We break up and get back together all the time. We're only together for the kids or the pets or because I don't want to lose money or something of that sort. All right? All right, Virgo. So let's go into this message deck. I can't really tell you what it is because I bought it on Etsy and it's blank. But, you know, it was one of those that you buy and you print yourself. And I like this deck. Really, I do. Charge this deck for the beautiful souls of Virgo. Charge this deck to the beautiful souls of Virgo. Charge this deck to the beautiful souls of Virgo. Tell us, person, twin flame, soulmate, whatever. Give Virgo a message. What do you want Virgo to know? If you could tell Virgo anything. Wow. And you drop them on the floor. Of course. All right. Got it. They want you to know that your love is eternal. So whether you're together in this lifetime or the next one, your love is eternal. It never ends. All right? They can't stop loving you because you are their twin flame. I love you and I miss you, but I don't have time right now. So they feel like they don't have time right now. They want you to know that you guys have been together for lifetimes and your love is eternal. But they feel like either you don't have time for them right now or they don't have time for you right now or maybe they're just not ready for a relationship so they're just not ready. Anything else you want to tell the Virgos? 
Anything else you want to tell beautiful Virgo? I feel like this one wants to come out too. I'm yours forever and ever. I feel like no matter how it seems, they're yours. You're, you're, yeah, they're yours. <laughs> and you're theirs. I don't want to wait any longer. Please be mine now. So I feel like before they felt like I don't have time for this. I can't do this. But they're planning on leaving this person. They're planning on getting a divorce or breaking up or whatever this is. They're planning on it. They're making plans. You do have making plans here too. All right. So they want you to know that they are coming. And then you had the other one. Are you ready for me? I don't want to wait any longer. Please be mine now. I love you to the moon and back. A million times. Maybe they just realize that they love you and they realize that it's eternal and that you're, the, you're, you're theirs and they are yours. No matter what they do, they can't escape you because you're in their dreams. There's signs from the universe, you know, there's nothing they can do because you are the other half of this person, you know. There's nothing they can do. They can run, but they can't hide because... It comes in their dreams. It comes in their thoughts. They can't stop thinking about you, basically. I did a twin flame love letter from the masculine to the feminine just the other day. I don't know if you've seen it, but definitely go in my other videos and look it up. It's one of my new ones. And it's a beautiful love letter, but I feel like it connects with you somehow here, Virgo. I really, really do. I feel like something about that letter connects with you so you should totally go watch it okay guys so let's go ahead and get some messages from spirit and then I will let you guys go all right so we're gonna go into my spirit guide deck by John Holland oh the spirit messages I'm sorry please charge this deck to Virgo Please charge this deck to the beautiful souls of Virgo. Please charge this deck to the beautiful souls of Virgo. Oh, man. I know it's been a long, hard journey, and you're just like, I don't even know if I want this person anymore. I'm good either way. But I feel like it's going to be a beautiful love. Even if this person hurt you in the past, I feel like they've grown up. They've learned. And you have this one. Caregiver. I don't know why there's a shadow, guys. Okay. So you have caregiver. Let's go ahead and read this. Caregiver, we are with you, and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives. Just as you received care and love at the start of your life, caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. You have chosen this card in all likelihood because you probably already are or have been in a caretaker role or you'll shortly start caring for someone you love. This card is a timely reminder to ensure you don't forget yourself in the process no matter what type of care is being given, whether it is emotional support or more hands-on. It's easy to let all your energy dissipate, leaving you feeling drained, disinterested, or at times feeling down. Remember that we're all made up of energy and that energy is very precious and delicate and needs to be preserved and honored. Take time for yourself. Nurture yourself with self-care, such as massage, meditation, or walks in nature, allowing your body, mind, and spirit to open and absorb positive and healthy energy so that when you have to return to care mode, you feel healthy, strong, and revitalized. 
Okay, Virgo. So take that message however it resonates with you. But what I'm getting is maybe your person has spent a lot of time being a caregiver for this karmic. Maybe they've been taking care of everything. Maybe they've been doing everything. Maybe this person's been sick and they've had to take care of them. Or maybe, you know, maybe that's why they were like, I just don't have time right now. I just don't have time right now. I just can't leave this karmic because I don't want to hurt them. I am responsible for them, you know. Or maybe it goes for you too. I feel like you don't take enough time for yourself, Virgo. I mean, I am a mom of five, okay? I'm a single mom of five. I take care of five little boys by myself. I help care for my mother, my grandmother, and you know, I help my father where I can. So I get the whole not taking care of yourself thing, you know? But Virgo, you need to make sure that you're definitely taking time at least. Take like an hour's an hour bath where you can, you know, meditate in the bath and you can have a nice salt cleansing bath or maybe, you know, get a massage carefully with COVID or something. Do something for you. Find at least, I'm hearing 15, 20 minutes to yourself each day, Virgo. Um because that's important you need to find time to nurture yourself as well as nurturing others okay my favorite thing to do is to take a nice hot salt bath with candles and they do a little ritual beforehand you know i don't know i just kind of like as i put the salts in the tub i swirl my hand around and i say you know, this bath will remove all negativity from my body. This, ma this bath will help me with any negativity. This bath will help me to release. You know, and you can put oils in there that help with releasing. Sometimes I put my crystals next to the bath or in it, depending on the crystal. Definitely check first because some of them can be ruined if they get wet. All right. So I hope that this message resonated with somebody and I hope that it helped you in some way. If this is your message and you need a reading, go to my Etsy store, which is linked down below, and you can totally purchase a reading. I have one that I pull cards for you and send you pictures, and that one's only $5.55 for per question, okay? Um, that one's kind of popular. And then I also have a recorded one, which, you know, I, it's like this, but obviously private for you only. Um, and that's $11.11 .11 per question. So it's really not ridiculous. I have definitely paid a lot more for tarot card readings. I think my last tarot card reading, I paid $40.00. Or something like that and it was only like one question so yeah um anyways so if you want a reading definitely go to my Etsy store if you get the one where I just pull cards for you that is done within 24 hours I try to do it as soon as I notice that it's there because I don't want you to wait too long but the recorded ones those take a little bit longer I have to prepare for those and all of that so if you want a reading, go to my Etsy store and get a reading. If you want to purchase my deck, definitely do it. It's also in my Etsy store, link down below. You can purchase what's going down in Karmic Town, what's really going down in Karmic Town, or you can purchase Witchy Sabrina Learning Tarot Deck, which you don't need a book for if you're learning tarot. It's all written on the cards as you've seen. You have three options it could be. Um, in reverse and upright so there's no book at all it's so much easier because you don't have to go okay what does seven of pentacles mean you know <laughs> and it's really good for learners as well as advanced readers um, they're beautiful they have fairies they have mermaids they have all sorts of mystical awesomeness in there because I am connected to mystical things I love them I've always loved them Anyways, enough rambling. So if you want a reading, definitely go ahead and go to my Etsy store. If you want to like my Facebook page and see all of the things that I post on there, 
daily. I try to post daily, but like I said, I'm really, really busy, guys. But I do try to post something for you all the time. So definitely like my Facebook page. I would love that. It would be amazing if that would grow. Um, I do have an Instagram. You can follow me on there. I have not actually went on there very much. I will try to do that more. I've never really done Instagram, but I'm, I'm going to try better, okay? So I'm trying it. And then I do have a TikTok. You can follow me on TikTok. Um, that'll all be linked down below. Okay, guys? So if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, share, comment. I love your comments. They make my day. I love when you guys subscribe. I call my mom. I'm like, Mom, guess how many subscribers I have? <laughs> you know? And it just it makes my day. So um, just so you know that. So, yeah. And if you want to share this, if this isn't your message and you know someone who maybe it would be for, share it. I would love that. And leave me a comment. I love those comments. Okay, guys. So I'm going to let you go. I love you guys. I hope that you have a beautiful, blessed rest of the month. Okay? Peace and love. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I love you. Bye.